Hey and welcome to another overclocking tutorial. Today we will take a look on how to overclock a non-K CPU on an Asus Z170 motherboard. This is quite interesting because usually Intel only allows overclocking on KSQ uh, CPUs. So now you can see that I'm using an Intel Pentium G4500T CPU, which is usually not meant for overclocking. So yeah, Asus and other vendors found a way to unlock those CPUs by clocking the BCLK. Um, the previous generation CPUs could not be clocked by the BCLK because the DMI was still tied to the base clock. So in case you change the base clock, you also adjusted stuff like the PCI Express frequency. Skylake CPUs are unlinked, so the base clock is not tied to anything else except like CPU frequency and memory frequency. So you can change the B clock without worrying uh, to damage any other components. All right, so first of all, you have to download a special BIOS to unlock the non-K overclocking. You can find the link in the description of the video. There you can also find all supported mainboards. After downloading the BIOS, go to Tool and use Asus eFlash 3 utility to update your BIOS. Okay, before we can start overclocking, we have to do some settings first. Go to Advanced CPU Configuration and Go to boot performance mode, set this one to turbo performance. Afterwards, go to CPU power management configuration and set speed step to disabled and also the CPU C states to disabled. Okay, go to the, X, uh, to the extreme tweaker and set the AI overclock tuner to XMP to apply the correct memory settings. Select no. You can see that my memory is DDR4 3200. And this is the setting we will have with a, uh, uh, with a current configuration. So we will clock this Pentium to 4300 MHz. So we will need around 143 here. So you can see the target CPU turbo mode frequency is 4290 MHz on the CPU core and also on the cache. However, you can see the target DRAM frequency is around 4.6 GHz, which is obviously too much. So we have to lower the DRAM frequency to around 2600, which from my uh, testing is safe on all CPUs. Uh, yeah, I found out that on some CPUs, a high DRAM frequency is causing uh, some instabilities with a non-K overclocking. So you might want to keep this one at around 2600. You can try higher on your uh, CPU and memory, of course, maybe it works. Go to external DG plus power control and adjust the CPU load line calibration to level seven. This will keep the voltage stable under load and guarantees a more stable overclock. You don't have to change anything here. So only the CPU core cache voltage has to be set to manual mode and Let's set this one to 1.35. At the same step, I want to say that you cannot read out the CPU core temperature with any tool in Windows. So you can see 30 degrees here in the BIOS, but you cannot read out the core temperature with any tool if you use the non-K BIOS. This is not really a problem un um, unless you uh, have a bad CPU cooler uh, at the moment, I'm using the Noctua NHD15 cooler, which is probably a little bit too much for the Pentium. But yeah, make sure you have a decent CPU cooler. And then if you stay below 1.40 here on the CPU core voltage, you won't have any issues. All right, so hit F10 and let's go to Windows. All right, so we just entered Windows. And first of all, we will look at the system details. For this, you need CPU-Z. This tool will give you a short overview over all the system specs, like a CPU clock and a memory clock. Open CPU-Z and you can see that the Pentium is clocked to around 4.3 gigahertz. And you can also see the core voltage, which is around 1.36 volt, which is a little bit more than the 1.35, which we set in the BIOS. And this is caused by the load line calibration, which will keep the voltage stable during load. You can also take a look on the main board. You can see the Maximus 8 Hero, also the BIOS version, and also the memory, eight gigabyte of DDR4. It's clocked to around 2,666 2, megahertz. You can only see half because of DDR, which means double data rate. And another interesting thing is the 
it's called Northbridge frequency here, but it's actually the cache clock. And the cache clock is linked to the CPU clock with a, uh, with a non-K BIOS. So this is why you also have around 4.3 gigahertz here. Now let's take a look at core temp. And this is what I mentioned earlier. You can see that it's always at 100 degrees. So this is obviously not a correct readout. So you can completely ignore that. And so far there is no tool you can use to read out the temperature with a non-K BIOS. Anyway, let's use Prime95 for stability testing. Like always, you have to set this one to 1344 and also this one 1344. Check run FFTs in place and give it a go. Now keep it running for around one hour if you wanna use the setting for 24 seven usage. Yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I also put another link in the description, which is linking to my detailed guide on my website for ASUS overclocking on the non-K BIOS. So in case you have any questions, you might also wanna check this guide. All right, so let me know if you have any questions. Bye.